Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. There's that robin in a previous video. I said we had a robin that comes up and eats our suet. And uh, there he is, he or she. He's up there having field days with his suet. All right, well, that's enough of that. When I come back, I'll uh, show you what the video is about. Okay, out. Hey, welcome back, YouTubers, to another edition to Doug doing demos. Uh, in this edition, I got a lot of comments stating that uh, I didn't really explain how to restring this in, in the proper way, so that's what this video is going to clear up. It's going to clear up how to how to actually, I'm going to show you how I do it. I do this professionally. I have those lawn care. And so I'm going to show you exactly how I put that string on this trimmer. This is the Cobalt 80 volt battery operated trimmer. Uh, so that's the head for it. So how you take the heads off is you push these push buttons and uh, you can do it with a screwdriver. I found out you can pinch both of these. It says push. If you pinch them both at the same time, grab right here. I hope I'm in focus here. Grab right here and pinch them both at the same time. This whole deal will come out. Okay. So we'll need this for right now. Okay, so right here is, I made other videos about this channel, it's very important. And one other thing to make this super, super easy to do is I found out that the channel right here is angled. So, I mean, if you put the string in, let me get a piece of string. Okay, if you put the string in and you still you hit the channel, but if you hit the channel and you push this way, you know, you could be there all day because it's just going to pop out of the channel. Look at that. It's going to go around here. You're not going to get it. So the, each channel, I found out, heads the same way. This heads that way. And then over here, it heads this way. So I said, well, I thought, what can make this whole job idiot proof? And I found out you take a center punch and this hole angles that way and this angles that way, that channel. So this is the side that they angle towards. So I took my center punch and I just took right in where this arrow is and I put a mark right here. And it has left a little tiny little indent. So now I know that the channel angles that way. So when everything's put together, you'll see why that's really important. Uh, you don't have to do it because it's a 50-50 shot. If you don't get it one way, you just angle it the other way. This way, you look at it, you're going to get it probably every time, like 99% of the time you're going to hit it perfectly. Uh, I've painted the channel with fingernail polish. That's the other hack that makes this job super quick, super easy. Um, and now let's get to how much line. Uh, I, I do this commercially. Like I said, I do lawn care for a living. So I go with the thicker. It's the uh, 0 0.095 line. It's a little bit thicker. So I'll show you how I measure this out. Um, what I do is I take it out of the package and grab the tip here and I just curl it up. It's six foot tall. So my arm span is six foot. So I know that's about six foot. So then I let go of this end and I grab this end. And I spin out six more feet. So I'm, I'm heading for 12, basically around 12 foot. This don't have to be an exact science, but for me, right there. So I know I got 12 foot right now. Then I come up, I grab this right here. That's about 12. And I spin it back up to these holes. And I cut it 
at an angle. I don't know if you can see this. I call my, I always cut my line at an angle. It makes it easier to thread through. So I cut it right there. And then with the package that comes, this is Husqvarna line, and it comes with you. Most packages will have a hole or something, and you put your line back in here and back in here, so you don't never lose the end. If you lose the end in some of these, it feels like you got to tear the package apart, and there goes your nice donut. But now you're ending up with the line, and I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a little angle on it, and it comes to a nice clean tip. So let's set this line aside and assemble the stringer head again. And you just put your head on. Doesn't matter there, but with this, where it says push, here's the holes. There's another, right? There's the holes, that says push. The next one over is a little slot. That's you want to put these push into that slot. So take and put that in there. Make sure the other side's the same way. Get your fingers out of the way. You don't want to get pinched. And then uh, grab both sides and equally push down. And it should snap. You'll see it snap there and snap there. Now to get this to go through, Cobalt has already thought of that, and they put on your bump head, and this is the bump housing, uh, they put indents, they made them, exaggerated them and made them longer. And then they made hashes here right across from the holes. You spin this until that the line up. So you can imagine this is where the string line is gonna go through your uh, trimmer head. And there's the hole, see how it lines up. Okay, so I know where's my line go? Here it is. Okay, so now everything's in place to make this super easy. We painted it, and I can see it now. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but with the with the uh, stringer head up like this, um, your uh, channel is going to be towards the top. The other thing is the indent that we put in with the the awl, the little dentation, is right on this arrow. So I know the channel's channeling that way. So I wanna take my line, the channel's heading that way, and I know from looking in here, the channel's up towards the top of the hole. So this is the important part. Take your line and hug the top with this bump head towards the top the top of the hole. Hug the top of the hole with this line. And then we know that the channel is heading this way. So hug it and then tip it in and then push. Check this out guys. You're gonna do it every time. Boop, there it is. So we make this idiot proof, right? All right, let's, let's spin this around. All right, I'll spin the head around. You walk up to it. You cut your proper amount of line, the way I showed you. You uh, come up, bang. You line this up with that. You get the line. We know the channel's at the top of the hole. And, okay, say, that, say it was over here. I always like to have it down here. So I move my indent that we made with the, with it all. Put it down here. Channels towards the top. If you push it towards the bottom, you're gonna miss the channel. It's gonna be like, where the hell's the channel? Okay, channel's at the top of the hole, so hug the top. It's channeled this way, hug the top. Um, back, uh, channel it this way, push. Check it out, guys. Boop. There it is. That's it. Okay, now, this is the other part. I told you it's gonna be thorough. I'm gonna, I better get some lights from this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it down here, but it's going through the head, and step on the head here so it doesn't move. And then match the two ends. Grab them so they don't move, pull up. Okay, 
make sure that they're even. Play ball. Now bring your hand down these, and they should match right in the center of that. Okay, I think you can see it now. Okay, now you can let go of them. Grab the head like this. Grab the bump head with this hand. And you see these arrows are spinning this way? That's the way the, the line wants to spin around here. So you grab it like this, grab it like, grab this top, it's the bump head, and spin it like this. And just keep spinning. Keep an eye on your cutoff. That's your gauge, how much you want to spin into this. So I like to lie the line like this. That's why I told you to grab it like this. Grab this and start spinning. Spin takes a while. It's 12, about 6 foot on each side. Spin it in. And keep spinning. I like to come close. I like that. And then take this and I spin it here. All right, I take my dikes and I cut it off even. It just it just lets the engine spin the first when it first comes on easier. And cut that off like that. So now you got a perfectly wound head. A nice thick line. And uh, as soon as you bump it, it's gonna feed out perfectly. And that's it. Hope you like this. Uh, this is like from having comments, so it's very important for you guys to comment so I know, you know, what videos you guys want to see. Because this, this is all for you guys. I know how to do it. So, all right. I guess that's it. Until next time. Out.